I mean, I don't, not this glider, but gliders do like their uh, their SUVs but, they can't afford yeah. in their college so degrees. Does, so does white privilege not cover that? Wow. No. Unfortunately okay, not. See. What do, what does let's it cover? See. Does it cover? I know does it cover being victimized by the brothers. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really cover much of anything. <laughs> yeah, white I'm, at tag, I'm at a tag hot black on this one. I'm I'm drawing a blank. I, I'm thinking. Well, I mean, I I, I, I get I get this on canceled out by white guilt, right? White privilege, it's got to get you something, man. Chat, let's think about that, man. While while we doing, while we going over all the black or white homicides for the month of um, September, man. For for um, the day, for the day of uh, whatever day it is right now. Yeah, September was a bloody month. Um, a fairly quiet month, it said. Yeah, just twenty six. Exactly. Just twenty six. Twenty six is um, twenty six is actually a low number. The usual mm-hmm. random savagery. We went easy on you guys um, last month, so we should be able to get through this really quick. Um, so we got 38-year-old Christopher Wright, man. He was fatally shot downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, when a black man shot him in the head at point-blank range. This uh, is a black man, aren't they? Wow. <laughs> so this website is racist if it says black man, aren't they? Daryl Roberts. 57 was charged with first degree murder. Yikes. Sunward um, Roberts. Fi- One eyed Roberts. A 57 year old doing shit that a 14, a 13 year old son kid does? Go up, somewhere. Police reviewed video of the incident and said Roberts was in a red shirt and dark colored pants talking to another man near a stairwell at Patton Towers. They said the video showed Chris Wright walk past the two men, then turn back to talk to them. Chris Wright is the white guy. He then walked away from them about 30 feet south, then again turned towards them, but did not approach them. So there's probably some words being exchanged. Roberts then walked towards Chris Wright, produced the gun, and shot him in the head at close range. The victim fell to the ground. Wright was described as a prominent businessman who was in the area for a Baylor school reunion. So this guy was a prominent businessman. And he just was walking downtown, and I guess some words were exchanged with this fella. He walked away 30 feet, turned around, and this guy walked towards him and blew his brains up. Sons frequently kill people who are in town on different things in different areas. <laughs> it's very common. It happens in New Orleans very frequently. Oh, yeah, they definitely. kill people, period. A tourist town like New Orleans, though, yeah, it's gonna happen a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I mean I I mean I get what you're saying, Hat, but I mean they can kill everybody, right? You could literally fill in the blank. I'm just saying, if you go and you're uh, like on vacation or traveling somewhere, you know, going in for a reunion and you die and you're killed yeah. by someone, it's very likely to have been a son person. This if guy, if you're, to, if you're a kid, if you're a kid in in America and you catch a straight bullet, you'll probably kill by someone. Right? But yeah, any straight right? bullet. Right. I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, that's all I'm saying, brother. Yo, he, I, yo, he got killed by this prominent businessman. Cross paths with this guy, and I would say in about thirty seconds, something happened to where this guy walked up on a point blank rage downtown and blew his brains out in front of everybody. Sons are in Chattanooga for sure. Well, I think it's safe to say that that song word is no more. He's probably still swinging from the tree they hung on. Oh, yeah. Tennessee? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Strange fruit, man. Um, 26-year-old Matthew Swiger was fatally shot in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Look at him with his dog, man. Um, Akaya D. Price. Was right. Some women are fucking different, dude. <laughs> mm. 
So um, I think I think I could take her still. Though. I think I could take her. Yeah, yeah. yeah with you an could take her. gun. Could you take her gun? So the incident occurred outside a restaurant. Witnesses said the man ran across the street toward Fourth Avenue North, and the woman followed after him. Witnesses said that that's when they heard several gunshots. After the gunfire, witnesses saw the victim bleeding from several parts of his body coming back towards Oku before collapsing on the sidewalk. According to police, as one of the witnesses sat the victim on the ground, the victim stated, Akaya Price, Akaya Price, she did this. Mm, wow. Yeah, well, that's very specific. <laughs> probably be his, probably his ex-girlfriend. It was... Akaya Price. Well, no, he's got a he he's got a tattoo of Melissa on his arm. So, um, that was her pet name. Oh, okay. They, they like that though. that role play. Yeah, this one right here. I don't think she was in the um guys, but whatever, do, man. Um, do, you, do you think that's her natural hair, blonde? Maybe it, right. Yes. She just wasn't having much fun. Blonde's supposed to have more fun. A lot of these blonde <laughs> sisters don't seem like they're having too much fun. Well, I mean, to, to be honest, that bitch right there, the hurting people probably is pretty enjoyable for her. This guy yeah. right here, Daquan. Oh, no, no. James James Miller. This guy, James Miller in Toledo, Ohio. He was yeah. shot and killed by Daquan Smith. This is 37, killed by 21-year-old Daquan Smith. Um... Look like Daquan fucking Charlemagne. Faces, faces murder on felony, felonious assault. A second victim, Kaya Braithwaite, was also shot, but she survived. Police did not relieve a motive to the shooting. Um, so he probably so, shot a glider, you know, glider woman too, or whatever this dude is. Looks like glider. Or maybe. It was an incident like the other guy, man. When oh, he came yeah, where he stopped. Rescue. <laughs> he came to the rescue. Tried to really fatal him. mistake for a glider. Um, 2 a.m. Yeah, this happened 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, The woman was 34. Uh... Not much information on it, but uh, so let's just move along. Um, hold on. Uh, let's move along. Not much going on about. Not much information about that one. Uh, oh wow, that jumped out at you. Um, hold on. Let me get back up. All right. Um, just like you jumped out of Papa. <laughs> Forty-two year old Cody Kinslow. Was fatally shot. You know one thing about this, though? Here's the funny thing about this. I don't have to worry about anybody stealing my content. This is going to be the only channel that covers this. (laughs) Press one. You know how YouTube goes like, man, you're stealing my content, man. (laughs) Trying to be like me. Nah, yeah, maybe maybe Black Gen Z, but other than that, nobody. Nobody's gonna cover this, man. You don't think Tim Pool's gonna steal this? <laughs> nah, uh, uh-uh. uh, no way. Um, Tim gets ock pilled. Right, I mean, you, I mean, you can't touch this shit with a ten foot pole, though, man. Let's be honest. Jerry Judge Hines five dollar challenge. He says, and what's up, I activist? Great show as usual, and the exposure of insanity. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah. is that our name now? We're Octavus. <laughs> That's know. pretty cute. Like Swifties. <laughs> I, I, I like acolytes. Acolytes, cool. uh, yeah, that's pretty good too. Acolytes, okay. <laughs> um, definitely not cult sounding. Right. Yeah, exactly. at, at this point, fuck it, right? The cult of Ock. Right. right, man. Yeah, Ock, buy a piece of land and we can all come live with you. Oh, well, I'm not right. going to make you drink any Kool-Aid or anything like yeah, that. Nah. Yeah, let's make yeah, Ock. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, no booty yeah. head either. Yeah, no great. Yeah. Right, look, look, I don't want no Kool Aid because y'all be putting too much sugar in y'all shit. All right. Yeah, man, give everybody diabetes, man. Kill y'all slow. Um, <laughs> really inefficient, Jim Jones. <laughs> let's see. Um, Forty-two-year-old Cody Winslow was fatally shot in Temple, Texas. The Bell County Sheriff's Department um, announced that the forty-seven-year-old Howard Lee Bailey was arrested and charged with the murder after shooting 42-year-old Cody. Shot him multiple times inside of his home. Okay, so no picture of the guy. Oh, wow. 43-year-old Russell Malcolm was fatally shot in Sacramento, California. Oh, man. Uh, Malcolm. The father in this picture died after being shot in the abdomen alongside the road at 11.30 p.m. Um, Arrested with assistance of Elk Grove Department SWAT team was Amatari Mabenton, 43. Um, So, yeah, it says, in keeping with the apparent media policy of lying by omission, the race of the suspect was not disclosed. However, the last name Mabenton is more frequently found in Nigeria than any other country. Context. The name, the name of Matari, Matari is, is also a black name. Oh, wow. Um, 31-year-old Isaac Love was fatally shot in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, again, no. Um, West Mifflin is at 85% White City, located in the Pittsburgh area. Two men are facing charges. Um, I'm sure they probably got some information saying that. Um, Both were described as black. 39-year-old Justin Andrew Doe was fatally shot in Indianapolis, Indiana. Menard's Ice Tiger. Also shot and killed was Ola Jawan Malik Coward, 24. So both these guys were killed. Um, Reports say one of the men assumed to be Coward was working as a security guard when he encountered the other leaving the store's lumberyard in a vehicle. An argument turned deadly as both men were armed. Doe was the son of Brenda shoemaker and dung charlie doe who is ethnically vietnamese those obituary um describes him as a wrestler dancer father um still not saying oh they must have shot at each other I yeah the son dude below and who is the security guard you know uh got into an argument with the other son person and shots were exchanged. So how did this guy die? <laughs> Incidentally. He was shot. Yeah, you act right. like that's not the norm. Yeah. <laughs> how, how does everybody else come on now? On don't let don't let the sun man mind get, get you too no, bad. I'm confused though they didn't say it. No, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how he died. They, they didn't say it. Right. They're, yeah. It's more about the, the whole story is like more about the, this dude with the fucking Headset. Wow. Emily Lee Anna Willis, 27, was fatally shot in Indianapolis. Damn, Indianapolis going hard. Um, 34-year-old Deonta Tay Nelson was arrested. He was charged with murder and unlawful possession of firearm by serious violent felon. <laughs> He was charged with murder and unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. So that's who this chick was hanging around. Um, reports say Will- on the cab. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely. She got the red, black, and green. Yeah, wow. Reports say killed. Willis was heard shouting, "Leave me alone!" as she ran to escape a gray Honda. A passenger inside the car opened fire with at least 20 rounds. She was found on a nearby porch 
at about 9.30 p.m. and pronounced dead an hour and a half later. Rural street where she died hasn't been rural for generations. But when I grew up in the nearby Irvington neighborhood, the city's near east side remained a relatively safe through no cash poor white area as the dark cloud of urban savagery engulfed the area of violent crime followed wow um yo when the when the sun man be shooting at a female he don't miss yeah they be dumping on females man we all know this one we don't have to do this one um well, you know, uh, surely there's a site just like this that lists all of the sun people killed by gliders. In well, this Earth. site does. This site does. So it usually it's about Perfect. one. If if that that one month where the white guy went into the um, dollar store and killed those three black people, there were four that month. In three, mm -hmm. he did three. So well, that uh, would be one one too many. <laughs> Emily Foster, 77, was fatally stabbed in her Columbus, Ohio home. <sighs> Arrested was 28-year-old Michael J. Brooks II. Foster had earned international fame as a recognized writer and was a retired magazine editor. Yikes. The home invasion and attack appeared to have been random. Brooks then drove a stolen truck to Atlanta, GA, where he attempted to illegally enter a number of homes. Court records show Brooks was released the day before the deadly stabbing from the Franklin County Jail after he pleaded to felony fleeing charges. He had earlier been charged with assault. Police said he had a criminal record in communities up and down the Interstate 75 corridor. So this woman was a was a known writer and a magazine editor. Yeah, this guy stabbed her to death in her own home. Um, Travis Gilbert, twenty eight, was fatally shot in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Indiana's a fucking death trap. <laughs> Arrested were Royal Davis, Jessica Fuentes. Uh oh, Jessica Fuentes. And Robert Ward. So these three were involved. It was a black and brown coalition. <laughs> Wicked, we we what happened with that one? How'd <laughs> so you let she, that one get away? She, she belongs to the strange. <laughs> they reports say Gilbert was accused of selling fake drugs. Oh, man, this white guy was accused of selling fake drugs. Oh, uh, uh, so, so, so. So in uh in the sun in the sun on the world he he had to go. You don't do that. Oh yeah. Even if it was twenty dollars worth. Five dollars. Mm. Davis and Fuentes believed the drugs they brought from Gilbert were fake and wanted their money back. A dispute led to shots being fired. Davis is charged with murder, felony murder attempted murder, and resisting arrest. Fuentes is charged with murder, felony murder, and attempted murder. Ward is charged with robbery resulting in death. <sighs> Ten-year-old Jake Luxenberger died near Louisville, Kentucky when a stolen vehicle crashed into the GMC SUV in which he was a passenger. <sighs> Like we can't we can't string him up for this one. God damn, really? Shout out the cool cat. He says, "Op Nation, salute everyone, salute the cool cat, man." But but you know but you know what, I, man? Uh, it's gonna feel weird when the moment when the nation said like literally seriously says enough is enough. It's gonna feel like waking up from a bad dream. Can you imagine that morning when we all wake up and it's like. You know, like, could you imagine that day? It's going to come. I don't I, know when. You know what, man? I think this country's been in this dream for a long time. If you saw the show the other day where we were talking, those old articles, man, from the early 1900s. Oh, man. oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this country's been in a prolonged yeah, I'm Optimistic to think that we'll wake up, it seems. <laughs> but but look what Senator uh, Biden accomplished, right? When he, you know, that, it, that great speech he gave and then 
the 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 mass incarceration of criminals. Um, it's gonna it's gonna come. It has yeah. to come, right? Ooh. So the, so the day that comes, hot, it's gonna feel weird, isn't it? Yeah, and when he said the Hamas strike was like 15 9-11s, I cried a little. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, that was beautiful. So this kid was killed by 23-year-old Timetrius Walter. He was charged with first-degree murder. Murder, first-degree assault. First degree wanton endangerment. First degree wanton endangerment of a police officer with Stevens stolen property fleeing or evading police in a motor vehicle and reckless driving along with other traffic offenses. We did a lot of these last night. Um, This is a... We whacking y'all out with these. Um, KSP said... That a trooper tried to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle traveling south on the Interstate 71 around 3.30 p.m. Saturday. Police said the driver failed to stop and kept traveling south at high rate of speed before getting off at exit 14. That exit goes to Crestwood in the Pee Wee Valley. As it got off the exit, police said the vehicle hit an SUV traveling north on Kentucky Highway 329. KSB said the child in the SUV died from injuries sustained in the crash. <sighs> wow. Um, urban savagery injury has claimed at least in the lives of at least seven white children this year to date. Okay, so. Wow, Shane Trawartha. He looked like he was, he looked like he was um, adjacent, man. Yeah, like he likes uh, Chief Keith. A little Dirk and all of that. Yeah. And be a young boy. He was adjacent, man. Wow. Mm. Ah, let's see. Oh, God. Um, arrested and charged with aggravated murder. With more charges expected with 23-year-old Mario Wingate. <laughs> these some old looking right they, they they look like a, a, a blast from the past with they yeah style. dude on the left looks like r b singer from like the fucking <laughs> 50s the 70s yeah the 70s 50s yo 23 and 22 damn um 23 going out to 50 <laughs> reports say Trawartha was found dead in the backyard of a home after police had been notified of gunshots being fired. Whitehall is a suburb east of Columbus, Ohio. The city's population is 39.1% black, 46% white. 39% is a enormous number. Um, I'm Rick James, bitch. 24-year-old Justin Caraba. He looks a little adjacent too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. But there are a lot of days that look like this in you know the right. modern towns. Too. A little adjacent. A little adjacent. Not not much. He could yeah, he could he could be adjacent <laughs> and not. Yeah. You know? Right, right. It's one of those things. Yeah, for sure. I think he's yeah. adjacent though. If I if I was to but, bet on it. Burberry. The Burberry and the you know uh, that's the, super yeah. adjacent. You ain't lying. The, the, the Jerry's in on this one, man. He was hanging out. All he right, was kicking right. it. Oh, um, uh, um, uh, he was oh, down. Oh, he was down with the brown oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> um, Christopher Baldridge, thirty-seven, was arraigned on first-degree murder charges. Reports suggest Caraba attempted to fight off Baldridge before being stabbed multiple times. Mm. No backstory to the they didn't the media mm. didn't say. Oh yeah, we know this one. The two kids, the oh, black and brown yeah. coalition. We did that. Yeah. Um let's see. Uh 31 year old Michael Ronald Beck Jr. was fatally shot during a carjacking in Monroe, Michigan. Mm. Yeah, he don't look at Jason. Yeah, it was a carjacking. This was a random. Um, <laughs> his, 
he, fucking he was, in, he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. His fucking hat. Go, what is it? Go Marshawn Lynch. Man. He looks like looks like Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> Yo, according to um, reports, the two robbed a market, then carjacked. So these are two. These are two people. This is Ronnie Lee Oliver, and this is Stephen Jones. So these are two different people. Um, according to reports, the two robbed the market, then carjacked the blue Ford F-150. The two occupants in the truck exited the vehicle, and the suspect shot them both. So, <laughs> so they carjacked the guys. The guys got out, and they still shot them. Shot both of them. Um, <laughs> Michael... <laughs> Michael Ronald Beck Jr., one of those shot, died. So that's our guy up, up, up top. The, the, this is um our guy right here, Mike. Ronald this is kind of what uh this kind of what um Masi talks about. I mean, this kind of what Masi. Yeah, about. yeah, definitely. It it's happened. definitely a possibility um, for sure. That, that's that's why. I, that's why. That's why earlier I said that one Gladiator Queen in the backyard. She ran into some of the nice song words. <sighs> Reports did not indicate which suspect fired the shot that killed Beck. Jones, who appeared to be white, seems content to hang out with black criminals. Um, if convicted and in prison, he may find himself immersed in a vast network of them, not to mention so-called white supremacist gays who may not. Okay, so one of the guys was white. So actually, this is the same guy, but another guy, this Stephen Jones guy, is a person apparently is a white. I was gonna say they look damn similar. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got here? Um, Fifty-four-year-old James Hoffman was fatally stabbed. They don't have a picture of James Hoffman, but he was stabbed. Um, and this guy was did it, and he was killed by while um, resisting arrest. Um, Hoffman, the white guy who, who's, who's not seen here, was killed while defending his friend and roommate, Josephine Bolas. Bolas recounted the events leading up to the tragic incident, stating, sitting on the front porch talking, me and James and a guy came in the driveway. I asked him what he wanted, and he hit me. I went down. When Hoffman attempted to intervene, the suspect turned violent and fatally stabbed him. James ran out, and he just started stabbing him and killed him. Then he killed my little chihuahua, killed my dog, cut his throat, and killed him. Okay, so that's the account from the woman. So you think Josephine's sister or a glider? I think um, Josephine's a glider. Bolus. Um... Yeah, so she was out there hanging out with her friend James. This guy walks up, just starts. Friend and roommate. No, um, the girl. The girl is his, his roommate with the white guy. Friend. Right, he got yeah, who got shot. That's I, I yeah. just thought that was interesting. Yeah, um, Fifty-two-year-old David Ruback was fatally shot in Dallas, Texas. Police are searching for two suspects. Ruback was shot while working as an armored truck guard. Police called the incident attempted robbery. Ruback was left in critical condition and died at a nearby hospital. The suspects appear to be black males. Okay. Um, 18-year-old Jalen Marie Potterowski. Potterowski was fatally shot in Toledo, Ohio. Arrested and charged with murder was her 16-year-old boyfriend. His name was not not released and his face was blurred out, but not his arms in the photograph release. So she, young white girl, 18, 16-year-old boyfriend, 16-year-old black boyfriend, um, wow. Um, in an interview with WTVG, a member of the suspect's family presented the incident as an accident. 
They say Jalen was trying to hold back her boyfriend from getting into it with other people in the neighborhood. So apparently this girl was trying to hold him back because during the confrontation. I believe him. He said, I was just trying to scare them. I didn't mean to shoot her, the mother said. I 100% believe him. <laughs> she got killed, in, incidentally, by stray gunfire in a sun incident. I mean, that is what happened. I, I can almost promise you. And, you know, she got what she was asking for. So, Ohio strikes again. 64-year-old Thomas Gill was fairly shot in Springfield, Ohio. Daniel Taylor, 20, was indicted on murder and other charges including felony assault and proper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle, unlawful possession of a dangerous ordinance, having a weapon under disability and discharge of a firearm on a near prohibited press. Was, um, wow, this guy was... This guy, um, Gill, was the self-employed butcher operating Gill's Quality. This guy right here, um, he was um, he he was a butcher. He was six seven and weighed two hundred fifty pounds. He was reportedly shot while sitting in his vehicle. No motive is reported. I need help. Help! Someone just drove by. They shot him. They shot my dad. His son said. When calling nine one one, this is an Israeli immigrant fatally shot in the Alabama um, warehouse parking lot. Well, yeah, America. better off in uh, in uh, Ashkelon or whatever the fuck. Yeah, welcome yeah, to America. Should have stayed in the kibbutz, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, he came to the hood, man. <laughs> Diversity was not the juice man's strength. <laughs> Hold uh, up, this is a glider, though. Come on, damn, juice man, come on. He's Israeli, you know. Israeli over there. Sometimes I could never tell the difference between Palestinians and Israeli. They both look the same, but um, yeah, you do. Um, robbery was the reported motive. Leyland was apparently working at the Insta Movers Company when he was approached by Ross. Reports say Ross followed Laylam from a nearby convenience store. Reports say Laylam was co-owner of the moving co company. Uh, so he was just went to, he went to get a snack uh, at the corner store, and while well, he's coming back, some man followed him. Oh, wow. Brandon Tyler Welsh of Sydney, Ohio. Ohio was a yeah. death. <laughs> Fucking Ohio may be worse. Well, Ohio's a sun state, right? No, yes. it's mostly gliders in Ohio. No, but it said that, that 16, 17% is a huge number. Oh, yeah, but it, it just right. goes to show that, like, you know, I mean, I want to know how many gliders are killing people there because it seems right. like it's most of the murders yeah. being done by some people. Yo, that, that's the real sunshine state right there. LaShawn Dean Hughes, 48, was charged with one count of murder. Hughes reportedly fled the scene in his semi-truck and was located in the village of Anna. Both men were semi-truck auto operators. Okay. Preliminary ev evidence and witness statements indicate that the altercation between the two men was likely related to a road rage incident. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> Super adjacent. <laughs> what, what did you do? He oh, looking man, like the this baby. This guy was sitting on the gli glacier. <laughs> right. He, <laughs> he is the glacier. He was about to go out for his daily glide. Right, right. Yo, he looks just like the baby. What do you mean? He's super adjacent. Harrison Ovi was shot on the job in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah, we did this. Remember? Um, he was no. the one doing the um uh he was the valet. Right. And the son oh, man came yeah. the car yeah. and he um stopped. That. He tried to stop him. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. Um let's see. Yo, I, uh, yo, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna point out where and bear with me, but I don't know what's worse. The all these sun killings or the fact that we can't fucking acknowledge it. Which what at this point what's worse? Well, we're acknowledging it here. Please take the five dollar challenge, support the channel. Um, so we can bring you more content like this. Uh, we're acknowledging it here. 
No one's going to steal our content, though. But here we're acknowledging it. We got 300 in the building at 12 right. in the morning. Acknowledging it right now. No, no disclaimer needed to not take uh, this content, right? Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, man. I couldn't pay them to do do this. Uh, I couldn't pay any of any of the competitors to do this. Um, restaurant manager David Millet died after being punched by a stranger on the street. He died after being punched by a stranger. <clears throat> Tyrell Jeru Moore, 23, was charged with murder. Um, referred to as a, the lethal, CBS 17 referred to lethal event as a disturbance. Restaurant manager dies days after a disturbance. Um, the tactic creates a no fault delusion, giving the false impression that the victim was culpable. It was as culpable as the perpetrator. Given past incidents of killings and violence on the same street, the report said Raleigh Mayor Marianne Baldwin said safety was her first priority. Baldwin pointed to increased parking fines for those parking in some neighborhoods who don't live there. Wow. Wait, she that, yeah, so she's the chief of police, of course. She's the one who's like, well, we'll increase parking fines. So, like, somewhere's gonna be fucking worried about that. Woo! 44 year old school teacher Jamie Craig was stabbed to death in Kansas City, Kansas. When police arrived at Craig's apartment, they were greeted by her son who informed them that his mom had a boo boo. Oh, man. Now, that's her son, Christ. little son, little son glider. And an unidentified 14-year-old male was arrested. The 14-year-old was not her student. The circumstances surrounding the deadly attack were not reported. The site, the site of the stabbing was not noted. But the census tract at 1700 block of East Missouri Avenue, where Craig died, is reportedly 70% black. It's uh, what they call the <laughs> death zone. What some may refer to as an urban jungle. We're going to bet her killer was black. Um, Craig's family is also trying to help her three-year-old son understand she isn't coming home. He was there and just says, Mommy, owie, Mommy, owie. And it just breaks our heart because he was there and we have no idea what he saw. Uh, we know this kid. Remember, this is the guy at the... Um, he died uh, at the bar. He crossed yeah. paths with this guy, and this guy killed him. Um, is that an umbrella or something like? This is this looks like a Cambodian or some shit like that. But maybe he's both. Maybe he's a sun sun tiger. But uh, he, ha he has melanin in him. Some to whatever the guy. His name is Matthew. Um, hold on, hold on. What's this one? This one, West Smith. This one's Matthew Purdy. So this guy's name is Matthew Purdy. Uh, white on black oh, homicides. Okay, so let's do the white on black homicides. Um, uh, let's see. It's about to get very racist in here. 15 year old Kel Queen. It's about to get very hateful. Jacksonville by Bobby Trustin. Damn. Was charged Yo. With murder. Bobby, he looks a real like a one. He looks like a fucking psycho. Yeah, he looks like Bobby. Bobby you want to mess with? Um, <laughs> don't do drugs. That boy man. ain't right. <laughs> Dan's, don't do drugs. Dan's arrest report indicates that Queen was shot and killed in a robbery that may have been drug related. The report <laughs> did not identify the aggressor. But murder charges suggest police are not considering it self-defense. Okay, so it was they don't know what happened here, but they know that this guy killed that guy. Um, but they're saying that it was drug related, right? So put the glass on the board. One. 25-year-old <laughs> Maha T Mob was fatally shot in Troy, Illinois. Um 
Michael S. Perman, 52, is facing two counts of first-degree murder. Reports say Tim Mob and Perman were in a relationship. The okay, swirl so this- that went okay. bad. Yo, he looks super red, doesn't he? Like, look at his—he looks red. Yeah, man. Um, oh, Philip Flip Armstrong was fatally shot in Granite City, Illinois. Damn, Illinois holding it down for the Gladiators. God damn. Arrested Uh-oh. was Tara Anderson. Wow. The media described Armstrong as Anderson's boyfriend. Another relationship. Okay, okay. Um, Diamond Steen. 23 Damn. died while shoplifting at an auto parts store in Kansas City. Arrested oh. for death by strangulation was Damn. Carl Kempanian. Yo, yo, but I, they, these two uh, photos, right? They they literally are what the nation imagines is going on. Like guys that look like this prick right here, like White Hakes. I was just killing random brothers. So, so just to be clear, so far we've got one glider who spun on his drug dealer or whatever. We've got three domestic killings and this dude who killed a son man who just was shoplifted. This is choice. Yeah, basically. 23-year-old Diamond Steen was murdered at the hands of 39-year-old O'Reilly Auto Parts employee Carl Kempan. And the story attributed to Nigel Hood also quoted the victim's aunt, who seemed to blame Campanian. Apparently, stopping a shoplifter is not following the rules. Yeah, I mean, you can't stop shoplifters. Oh, wow. More? Employee of the month. This is a big month, man, for you gliders, man. You gliders striking back. 30-year-old Jonathan Foster gliders. He was fatally shot in Little Rock, Arkansas. 27-year-old Caitlin Johnson is facing charges of capital murder and trafficking a controlled substance. Apparently, the two were engaged in an illegal drug transaction at a motel when the shooting occurred. It is not known that Foster's death was prompted by his refusal to pay. <laughs> um, Johnson entered a not guilty plea. So the girl, she's claiming not guilty. Um, let's see if we got any more, man. Um, uh, do we have any more? <laughs> Undeportable Gambian rapist. <laughs> that, that's it. That does seem that's like it. a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Um, that's all we got, man. Is um that we got? I think we got a five or six the other way, like twenty twenty seven one way and five or six the other way. Um. Uh, yeah, so y'all dunked on us in this game, like usual. Yeah, yeah, man, we won, man. Um, however you want to c- cut it, twenty-seven. Maybe one day five. we'll get good at racism. 